In this video, we'll take a look at the Adobe Acrobat Connect Pro Training Module. The training module allows a training manager to create courses and curriculums so that a student's progress through that training can be managed and tracked. We'll begin by logging in and taking a look at the end user experience. As you can see, this student has been enrolled in some new hire training. To access this curriculum, the student can simply press the button on the home page. The curriculum itself is made up of a number of courses, and those courses can be a number of different things. They can be on-demand content created with something like Adobe Presenter, which creates self-running e-learning content. It could be a live meeting or a recording of a live meeting. It could be a PDF document or a video. It could even be external training. In the case here, we've got the course that requires the student to read an employee manual, and the marks would be uploaded manually after the fact. So the curriculums inside of the Connect Pro training module can incorporate a number of different types of e-learning content. To take one of the courses in the curriculum, the end user simply clicks the Open button beside the course name. If the course was created with something like Adobe Presenter and contains a quiz at the end, then the results of this quiz will automatically be tracked by Connect Pro. As I get these questions right or wrong, all of the results will automatically get reported back to the training manager. We'll take a look at that next. Next, I'll log in as a training manager. Before we take a look at the reports, let's take a look at how we created this curriculum to begin with. I'm going to navigate over to the shared training section where we're storing our curriculum, and I'll click on the new hire training curriculum object. This is the curriculum view from an administrator's or training manager's perspective. As you can see, as the training manager, I can add items to the curriculum. And again, there are multiple different content types I can add. It can be content like a Captivate movie, a flash file, flash video. It could be a course, a virtual classroom or a meeting, or it could be external training. I can also add folders to help me organize that content. I've also got the option as a training manager to add this curriculum to the training catalog. By listing this in the training catalog, other students who are not enrolled in my training can now view the training and either take it if I set the enrollment to open or apply to take it. And that will require my approval via email before they can actually access that content. As the training manager, I can also start managing the enrollees, meaning inviting specific students or groups of students to the training itself and notifying those students. I can set up notifications to let people know they've been enrolled. I can also set up reminders, and those reminders can be repeated either daily, weekly, even yearly. I can also decide to send those notifications and reminders to everybody who's been enrolled or only those who have not taken or have failed the curriculum so far. For this demo, I'm going to disable the current reminders and let's move on to reports. Reporting is one of the key features with the training module in Connect Pro. This allows me to track the progress of all of my students through the curriculum. This summary page gives me some basic information, like how many users have completed my curriculum based on how many have been enrolled. The real value, though, comes with these two sections here, by users and by item. When I click the by users tab, I can see how each of my students that I've enrolled in this curriculum are progressing. The by item tab allows me to see how individuals are answering specific questions. For example, if I take a look at this Aquo forklift safety course, I can see by questions how people are answering. This first question looks a little too easy since everybody's getting it right. I can download this report data or create a printable version, but new in Connect Pro 7, we've got a brand new reporting engine, which will actually allow me to create some really custom reports on my curriculums, my courses, even the individual learners. I'm going to select to do a curriculum report since we've been looking at a curriculum so far. I'll go to the shared training section and select the training itself and then hit the next button to continue. You can see here I can filter this report using a date range 
For example, if I am only worried about the last quarter, I can use these calendar control objects to select the specific dates, or I can also filter by user group, and these user groups are automatically pulled from the Connect Pro system. So if I'm only looking to generate a report on how the North American Sales Division is doing, I can certainly filter using that group. Next, I can customize the report by adding fields. So I've got my default set of fields here. I can start removing some of these fields that I don't care so much about and maybe adding some fields that I am concerned about, like phone number and cost center. Once I've selected the fields that I'd like on my report, I've got a couple of options I can choose from. I'm going to leave the default here. And then I can choose to create a report. Connect Pro has gone into the database and pulled the information based on the filters and the custom fields that I've set and returned it to me. I've got a summary here at the very top which shows me how many people have been enrolled and how many people have completed it. But down in the bottom here I've got all of my detailed information. And all of this detailed information is linked. So I can click on Lisa's name here and see exactly how she's progressing through the curriculum. Thanks for watching this brief video on the Adobe Acrobat Connect Pro training module.